Welcome back to Dog Breath Video, home to poems, stories, and drawings from the imagination of a somewhat weird young child in the 70s. The content of this video was planned to be inserted into Comic Book Delusions No. 1. However, in the end there was a time constraint so we now have Comic Book Delusions No. 2. If anything, this will be more delusional than the first. As always, Dog Breath Video thanks you for being here now and hopes you will subscribe for later. Enjoy. We highly recommend that you hit pause to stop, read, and contemplate the content fully. But now, let's start. Being England and the 70s, it is a fair assumption that the art and weirdness of Monty Python's Flying Circus would have influenced the author. Artistic ability to match Terry Gilliam, possibly not. But weird thought patterns, probably yes. Before starting, we would like to mention that this one-sided comic has been roughly split into two. The top bit, is shown here. The second bit will come next. This comic has no date, no title, and not much story. You could almost add, no literary direction either. The only direction is in the form of little arrows that help readers steer their eyes through the maze of frames towards the end. And this is the second part. The part that captures the story as it heads towards the great reveal. Surprise surprise! It was all just a film set with the bold and brave Sir Adrian and his evil captor nothing more than a pair of bald actors. As an attempt to enter the competitive world of superhero-type comic books, this fails miserably. Not a superhero in sight, unless a few pages were lost over the years. So, let's move on to the next and last comic book delusion. Dated and titled, this attempt at a comic book already surpasses the previous example. The story starts off well with a blatant criminal lust for riches, a mysterious cursed diamond, and a small black spider. There is also a would-be superhero in the form of police superintendent Ketchum waiting in the wings. Page 1 looks good. Let's move on to page 2. Superintendent Ketchum appears to have gained a very quick demotion in the first frame on this page. That or the lady does not know his real rank, or, and this is a real possibility, the author simply forgot. As the plot thickens, day turns to night, the cuckoo clock lazily chimes twelve, and Superintendent Ketchum explains his strategy. While this is all happening, the attentive reader will see a small figure coming through an opening in the garden wall. The thief is approaching, and then, well, what can we say, that's it, it ends. Nothing more than a large hand through the window and a couple of thought bubbles. Anti-climax or what? Dog Breath Video would like to offer its sincere apologies for the poor ending to this comic book delusion number two video. Our trained research team did their best in trying to sniff out more pages or content, but unfortunately came up with nothing more than an old dog treat that had been kicked under the fridge. So, apologies once more and be assured that with dogged determination we will do better next time. The Dog Breath video team thanks you for watching. Please watch all of our other content. Some is good, some is great, and some is absolute rubbish. But, as we all know, absolute rubbish can be very entertaining. Once again, thank you. Please subscribe and come on back.